everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna, which is very different from regular sauna, and I talk about spiritual topics that'll help me be a better person, be more positive, be able to more manifest the wonderful things in my life that I want to manifest. So, um, I've been doing a series of vlogs on the universal laws, the 12 spiritual laws, okay? And we've worked our way through and we are on today. And just for anyone that's just tuning in, the 12 spiritual laws are basically 12 very informative and very helpful quote unquote laws about how energy works in the universe and specifically in our well, in the universe, but see, we have to be very conscious of energy, even in this very low vibrational place, because if you don't use these universal laws to manifest, to help you manifest, it's going to be like moving through the mud and the quicksand and never get anything done. Furthermore, the general energy about these days is <laughs> pretty dang negative and pretty damn low vibration. So it's very easy, unless you're using these spiritual laws to raise your vibration, to help raise your vibration, or to understand why it's so important to keep your vibration high. Man, you can just fall in the trap of <laughs> misery on this planet. And I see it all around, man. There's so many people just so freaking miserable. You call your friend, they're like, blah, blah, blah. Or you call your other friend, they're like, ah. And I have been, I've done the same. I mean, believe me, I'm not innocent in this whole bout of sadness that's permeating our, permeating our planet. But I will tell you that because I'm working with these 12 energetic laws, these 12 spiritual laws, it has really opened my eyes, baby. And my third eye specifically. Whoo, about how things work here and about how to deal with all this energy because it is like I said before it can be like a wave whoo, taking you over and washing you away and you know what you want to be able to stand strong man you know you really do and the only way to stand strong against the dark is to be of a high vibration right because the dark can't touch you if you're vibrating in a joyous state it curls and cringes away. Ha! Get away. But if you're down in the muck with them, it'll eat you alive, man. Literally uh, suck the life force out of you. And I've seen it. I've actually been victim to it myself. I admit it. But no more. Hell no. No more of that. Now that I understand these 12 universal laws, I have no excuse. Okay? None of us really has an excuse. But if you don't know, then you're just ignorant. You know, you just don't know. But here I am trying to teach y'all. <laughs> and myself, and myself. Okay, so today we are on, what I say not, I haven't even said yet. The universal law that we're going to study and talk about today is the law of relativity. Okay, so this is actually, it takes a little bit more thought and understanding to really grasp. Okay, but it basically everything you can't make an example of one thing without having another thing to compare it to. For example, your life experience is your perspective. And so in your world, having something happen is only relative really to your life experiences, right? And usually our greatest fear is wound up in our greatest power in a way so that the universe is trying to help you get past your greatest fear. And it's this relativity because, you know, one person's perspective is going to be completely different than another's. So, and another example is say, you can't experience pure joy unless you've experienced pure fear. So it's like, what's your relative comparison? What perspective are you coming from, right? And if you change your perspective, you can change the relative nature of your whole existence, okay? And that's one of the really benefit beneficial things about being of service and looking at people with less than than you because their perspective and their relativity of how they see the world and what is relative to them is clearly going to be different 
than somebody with, you know, a huge amount of abundance. Even though the person with the abundance may not see it because it's all about perspective too, see? So, the theory of relativity is really important to keep your sensibilities about you because you can be like, oh my God. One time a very, very, very wealthy man told me one time, he said, and this I, at the time I thought, what the hell is he talking about? It's the stupidest thing I ever heard. But it goes back to this um, universal law of re relativity. And I may have said in my ramblings just now, theory of relativity, which is an Einstein theory, which I believe is based in the universal law of re relativity. So he, this wealthy man said to me, <laughs> this was long ago, he said, the anxiety that a woman feels trying to find a meal for her family is the same or can be the same level of an anxiety that a wealthy woman has when she doesn't have enough place settings for her dinner uh, event. And I thought that's this, <laughs> how could that even be compared? And it's talking about the level of fear or anxiety that somebody feels, right? But it's based on their relative experiences, right? And so change your perspective and you can change your relativity. And that's a big concept. It's more, to me, it takes more conscious effort to really get this concept because, you know, most of the other universal laws are what you put out comes back and keeping your vibration high and things of that nature. This is all about perspective. Where do you see things from? And what do you compare it to? Okay. And so those are sort of um, interchangeable pieces to the puzzle of your life. And it's a really important concept to grasp. I'm going over, but I just wanted to try to make the point of what it actually means. Okay. So all these spiritual laws, and we'll go over them all one after another at the end of this series, but really important to grasp, really important because if you get them all and you're you're on it and you do all of them, then you're manifesting instantly these days. Okay. Huge. So I've got about 45 minutes left. I'm starting to drip already. I really just enjoy the sweat in here so much. It's brilliant. Woo. Um, and we're at 131 degrees right now and hopefully I'll get up to at least 136. Alrighty. So I want to tell everybody blessings Thanks for sticking with this. These concepts are not always easy to take to heart and certainly not always easy to implement if you're used to doing something completely off opposite or different. So please reach out if you have any questions and I'm willing to do free short readings for people who really desperately need. And also please subscribe. It really, really, really would whoo, make a huge difference just because I want to help people so much and it really you know, it's a great way to keep in contact. Okay. So everybody, blessings, 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 and oh, 